Hey everybody, how are you? This is Gabriel Vision Tune Lamette here. I just want to thank you for joining me for my Motivated Monday segment for this week. And I'm really excited about this particular subject I'm going to talk about because we just got done dealing with our Valentine's Day weekend. And um, I figured that I wanted to do something just a little bit different for this because my motivation is the love of my life, uh, my wife Giselle. Um, we didn't get a chance to really do Valentine's weekend the way I would have really wanted to do a uh, few reasons. Uh, definitely I had to work so that's uh, actually a part of it. Um, but then also, you know, with giving attention to our son, we just didn't really get the time or the chance to really kind of break away and have some of us time. So what I wanted to do was just really and truly give a chance to talk about my motivation um, for being so grateful for having such an amazing wife. Um, she is absolutely a complete, complete blessing to me. Um, I'd say within life, I feel privileged to be able to have someone like her that uh, doesn't walk behind me. Uh, she doesn't walk in front of me. She literally walks beside me. Um, during some of my darkest days, she's been that hand that I held. Um, and through a lot of understanding has helped me through some of the things that I didn't even realize um, were kind of gripping me and uh, stunting my peace, stunting my growth, and even stunting just being the man that um, I should have been working more diligently towards. And so I just greatly, greatly appreciate the level of balance. You know, you hear a lot of people say yin and yang, that type of thing. Uh, she's definitely that for my life. And I can't put in enough words or um, enough I love you notes because sometimes I will leave her notes to say I love you and everything and not just when I've done something wrong but uh, sometimes I do that and I tell her that I love her frequently and I still kisses all the time that type of deal but uh, none of that is enough to truly express how much I appreciate and love her being the one that I feel I was blessed to receive uh, years ago and so, Giselle, I love you for everything that you bring to my life. I love you for being the mother of my child and being patient with that knucklehead because we know he's crazy half of the time, but we love him anyway. But um, you, you bring such value um, to my life and to my purpose. And again, I love you so much and thank you. So in talking about Valentine's Day, you know, I, I sit here and think, and not because I've become some kind of Jedi master of love, because definitely I have a lot of work to do. I'm not perfect. I blow it a lot, but I work at it a lot as well. And I try my best to be diligent in being the right piece to our relationship versus me just thinking of the piece I feel that I need to be for myself. Um, and what I would like to say within saying that is one of the things that I feel has become um, a focal point for how I approach my uh, marriage and relationship is I try to wake up every single morning with a mindset of keeping it brand new. You know, when you first uh, initially are with someone, you know, you can't wait to talk to them. You can't wait to see them. Um, things that they do that under regular circumstances, you will be like, oh, heck no. You give them that room of grace. And I have just realized that being able to approach each day as much as possible with a brand new mindset towards my wife has allowed for me to actually gain more inner peace. It's not been a thing of me not being able to express how I feel, um, but it's more so been on the level of it gives me peace because I'm keeping it brand new. And so, you know, that might be something that you might want to try, especially if you see that your relationship has a lot of ups and downs, because I know mine's has, but I found that 
approaching it with that mindset daily has really not only helped our relationship together as a couple, but it's also helped me as being a husband and being the man of our relationship. And it's been very beneficial on all ends. Um, I can't tell you how many days that within me waking up with it being brand new that I intentionally see where I can serve and love my wife. Now, some people would say, oh man, you know, service is a bad thing. You don't want to be a server. I feel my wife is worth serving. And I feel that it's very important in a relationship for both parties to be willing to serve one another's and put that other person's needs before theirs. Now, again, it doesn't come from a place of me being perfect. It's coming from a place of me seeing something I have to stay consistent at and work with daily. And I have found, again, that to be more of my level of success in things. Another thing that I feel that is really good to practice within a relationship that you're trying to make sure remains healthy is invest your time, invest your money, even if you have to, into that person's vision. My wife, as I've shared with you guys before, is an extremely amazing, talented, you know, person when it comes down to doing all these pastries. Like the other day, it was I was just overjoyed watching her work on these brand new suckers that she's doing for my son's birthday. And I just love seeing her in her element doing her thing. And then she's coming over like, ooh, taste this, or ooh, what do you think about that? Um, all those, I shouldn't have made my voice go that high, but whatever. Uh, so anyway, I love being able to see her within her craft. And I have purpose to make sure that I do things to support her within her craft. And I have seen what that has even done for our relationship. So, you know, Ladies and gentlemen, being in your relationship with your significant other, make sure you put in the time to support them because doing that is only going to allow your relationship to grow and flourish and be much more than honestly either of you could have ever, ever imagined. So before I end this segment, you know, I do just want to again finish this by saying to my beautiful uh, and amazing supportive wife, Giselle, again, I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. And, um, you know, uh, you are one of the best things to ever happen to me. And I appreciate it. And so what I'm going to do, because I know you always say, oh, you don't do this for me anymore. You don't do this for me anymore. See, I told you guys I'm not perfect. I'm keeping it real with you. Um, I am going to just sing a little bit of something for you just because um, I feel you deserve it. It is definitely from the heart and um, you mean that much to me. So here we go. You are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I hope for. And you are everything I need. So you are so beautiful to me. All right, I love you. Happy Valentine's Day, and that's enough. Okay, so for the very last part of this, I'm gonna do as I've always done with my uh, Motivated Monday pieces, is to actually go ahead and do my Tomorrow's Not Promised Challenge video segment. And the people that I want to go ahead and spotlight for this segment would be some dear friends of mine from over in Forest Falls, Rick and Karen Westfall. So Rick and Karen, uh, I definitely wanted to get the opportunity to share with you guys how much I love and appreciate who you guys have been in my life and in Giselle's life. You guys have ultimately affected uh, us forever in such a loving and kind way. 
Um, not within life have I met too many people who have taken on, honestly for me, I feel like the role of almost like an unspoken uncle and aunt. Uh, Rick, you have always been someone, since I met you, when I was doing the carpentry uh, assistance type of work for you, I didn't know much about anything and still don't to this day. However, you worked with me and showed me so many different things and giving me that opportunity of working with you actually came at a really great time for me. And you have always been able to come with your crazy, funny jokes and stories and your way of saying things. And I just love you so much. Uh, Karen, your sweet and sensitive spirit is something that I feel to be a jewel within nowadays in living. And you always uh, bring such a heart of true love and kindness. And it's just a rarity nowadays. And so I'm so thankful for who you guys are in my family's life. And I want to make sure that you guys just understand that no matter where life may travel and go for either one of us, it doesn't matter. You guys will always hold a beautiful chapter in our life and we're gonna make sure we continue to nurture that chapter so that it does not become a book of the past but it stays current because you guys have been that fantastic for us and we just love you love you love you um, so that is my tomorrow's not promised challenge video for this week again everyone can get in on this challenge just make sure that when you do the video you hashtag it tomorrow's not promised challenge again tomorrow's not promised challenge challenge. And so thank you guys for joining me for this week. I do have a really awesome and interesting approach to the uh, Wednesday wellness piece. So you're not going to want to miss that for this week. And then I've got a great spotlight coming out at the end of the week with a really dear friend of mine. And so make sure that you hit a like on this video and also make sure that you subscribe to this so we can continue to build this channel. And I'll be seeing you guys later. You guys have a great one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.